All right, hey, we have a privilege here now today to be joined by Doug Miller here at the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Our friends uh, uh, over here at the National Indian Vet Center the Pro Football Hall of Fame Luncheon Club, longtime member Doug Miller, and uh, some great news for you, my man. You're going to be inducted to the National High School Baseball Coaches Association Hall of Fame. What does that mean to you? Well, thank you, TJ. It's, it's an honor. I mean, it's something you really don't think about. I guess I've been blessed. I've been able to coach for a long time, 40 years, had a lot of good players, and we've had some success in that organization. I've been a charter member of that organization. Every year they choose about, uh, you know, four coaches for induction into the National High School Baseball Coaches Hall of Fame. This coming year in December, they've chosen me. I'm on Awesome stuff, man. TJ Downing here from Start Media again at the Pro Football Hall of Fame Luncheon Club in its 20th meeting of the season, in its 60th season in existence, the longest luncheon club in North America. Um, it would be hard for you, I guess, as you mentioned, coaches, players, to be able to name all of them over your long career. And I know just recently you guys had a chance to honor the 2011 State Baseball Championship team from Central Catholic. What are some of the teams that really stick out to you over your career? Not maybe all of them, but something special like that. Obviously, we know our goal is always to win a state championship, but what are some other teams that really, when you look back at your career, it's like, man, that was a special group. Well, I've been blessed. We had, uh, as you mentioned, that 2011 team was a state championship team. We had a state title in 2008, and then we had one in, in 2015. But you know, I've had a, you know, a lot of teams that, you know, maybe are a little bit over 500. But I like to, the John Wooden pyramid of success. As a success is a peace of mind knowing that you did the best you could possibly do. And uh, I think that's the way you have to look at it. You know, the kids give you everything they have and, and they compete. Uh, maybe they're not going to be a state title or a district title or anything like that. But you know what? It's still. The, the impact you have on them and the learning aspect and when you see the kids 10, 20, 30 years down the road what they've turned into, that really uh, that's gratifying. The, the congratulations and the uh, handshakes keep rolling in, man. Some great information for you. But what is it that uh, people may not know about the National High School Baseball Coaches Association, where that takes place, when that takes place, so that people from around the area that have been a part of your career, have followed your career, that they can know to be uh, apprised of that situation coming up? Well, it's an organization that was established in 1991 for the purpose of, of high school baseball coaches as an American Baseball Coaches Association. And that you can be, that's mostly, well, not mostly, but a lot of the college coaches belong to that. And you can belong to that as a high school coach too. But in 1991, they wanted an organization that just focused on high school baseball coaches. And uh, like I said, that was established in 1991. I was a charter member of it. Uh, we have a clinic every year, and it's mostly done with high school coaches, uh, for high school coaches. And uh, the executive director, uh, it was in Arizona. Now the executive director is a guy named Tim Saunders in Dublin, Ohio. So that's where the uh, executive director is from. Um, it, it's, it's amazing that, uh, you know, that organization is going on, you know, over 30 years. But uh, it's, it's just amazing. And uh, when you do go to a clinic and you meet coaches from all over the country, it seems like, hey, you know, like you've been together all the time. I'll give you one more question before we get you out of here because I know that uh, here in just a few weeks, the big righty, Sam Berkwin, he's going to get a hold of you here at the Pro Football Hall of Fame Luncheon Club and have a ton of questions for not only you, but some of your other coaches that have been around you through your career. But let's stick with that theme here, your family. Obviously synonymous with sports around the area. Uh, when I was at Glen Oak under Coach Gilhausen and, and Hank Miller being a part of the history and knowledge and, and what's going on over there at East Canton, 
Ryder Miller, the job that he's done, and you most recently retired as athletic director over there. Again, I've told you this before, kudos for what you guys have done over there with the athletic facilities. We've been over there to broadcast games. You guys have done a phenomenal job. But if you could speak or share a couple messages, because I know that you don't just go in here by yourself. It's all those coaches, all those staffs over the years. You know, the, uh, the late nights getting home to have dinner with the wife and kids, uh, the, the road trips, all that stuff. Talk to your coaching staff, talk to your family. Exactly. And, uh, you know, this honor is on the shoulders of my players and assistant coaches. Uh, I've had a lot of great players over the years. I've had good assistant coaches. And, uh, again, it's, it's the impact that you have on the uh, on the kids' lives. Like, we had a get-together of the 2011 team a couple of weeks ago where they were inducted in the uh, Star County Amateur Baseball Hall of Fame. And I haven't seen some of those kids in about 12 years. But when you get together, you see their parents and their grandparents, uh, the impact that you can have on them. Uh, just to give you a story, at East Canton, my first All-Ohio, my third year there, I had an All-Ohio player by the name of Joe Knott. He got a scholarship, baseball and academic, to go to Walsh University. Well, he had the red shirt because, you know, they have a number of players. And then COVID came, then he would have had the red shirt the second year. He said, Coach, I'm going to graduate in three years. He said, I want to get off my life. And he said, I want to do things to help the world. So he got in his mind, he wanted to solve the world's water problem in deprived areas that don't have clean water. So he started a company, put $4,000 of life savings, a couple other guys. He started a company called uh, We Are the Ripple, and they put 20 wells in Uganda, fresh water for kids to bathe, to drink, because, you know, some of those countries, some of the African countries, you know, they don't have that. And for every 2,000 water bottles he sells, they can put a well in. He's up to 20 wells. And, he, you know, it, it's things like that. He went to school to play baseball, and he became an entrepreneur. How many kids at, at 21 years old thinking about solving the world's bottom problem? You know, those are the things that championships are nice and, and things like that. And when I think about that, and I had this kid for three years, and uh, like I say, he was my first all of Iowa. I had at East Canton, but it's, it's stuff like that. It's, it's, I can tell just hearing you talk about it that that, uh, that means a little bit maybe more than that the net championship yeah. ring that you guys yeah. celebrated uh, just a few weeks back. And when I saw Jeff Lindesmith the other day, you know, it was kind of funny. He said when yep. you guys got back together, yep. it was like you had yep. missed a beat. Like, you guys were probably yep. over there talking, come on, man, you got to keep your head in there on that curveball, you know, start yep. pushing these kids up. And, but, man, what a, what, a, what a special time for, for you, for your players, for your, your assistant coaches. And, you know, Doug Miller joining us here, Stark Media, TJ Downing here inside the Nash Family Event Center. Shout out to the Pro Football Hall of Fame Luncheon Club, the Pro Football Hall of Fame All Care. Dr. Peter Ferguson, Liberty Ford, Wilkshire Golf Club for making this thing happen, and, and you for uh, all you've done making it happen for your student athletes, man. Well, thank you a lot, TJ. I appreciate the time. You know that like, when I was the AD at East Canton, we worked together. I always appreciated that you guys cared about the small schools, too, you know, the, yep. the little guys. You guys came out, you did regular season games, you did playoff games. I appreciate it because it's all the same. Yep. No doubt, man. Competitors that we are, right? Thanks Congratulations. a lot. Congratulations. Thank you very much.